What's up everybody? Long time no see. Just kidding. If you guys are coming from the last pumpkin haul that I just posted along with this video, hello, welcome back. If not, um, there is a haul that goes with this taste test. So I would say check out the haul first and then you can watch this because I'm not going to go in depth about the products. But we are tasting a bunch of yummy things. My husband Tim is joining me. Most of you guys know him by now. He's gonna be doing the taste test and he's not the biggest squash lover, so he'll give you his honest feedback. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join my channel. I always do Trader Joe's hauls and usually a taste test at the end, just this last one was a little too long. Um, so yeah, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help and Let's go ahead and get started with this taste test. So I cooked up a storm and I made a bunch of the new items that were either frozen or the new soup and everything is really hot and like steaming on my face making me warm. It's a hot day today. Um, so we're going to start with the rice, cauliflower and butternut squash risotto and it's real hot because it just came off the stove. Ooh. Well, mm. there's it. It doesn't really have much to it. Really. I like it. It's got a little bit of like a curry flavor. Is there a curry in there? I don't know. It's in no. the freezer, but I think I don't eat curry, so I was just a, a step mm. in the dark kind of. But uh, it, it's very light in flavor. It doesn't really have much to it. I don't think. The cauliflower, it's, it just tastes like cauliflower with a little bit of se uh, seasoning to it. I think it might be like the seasonal spices you're tasting, like maybe nutmeg or um, some type of like cardamom or something. Um, I personally love it. It's actually really creamy. It has a really nice texture to it. Tim is right, it's very light in flavor, but I think it's delicious. I love how creamy it is. It's actually way creamier than I was expecting because cauliflower usually is more watery but it did cook down and made it a lot thicker near the end of it stirring it up and stuff. So yeah. I really like it. I think it's great. I'm definitely gonna eat that since you're not. <laughs> it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next thing that we're gonna try is this new soup that came in the jar. This is the pumpkin bisque soup and I just heated a little bit up once again. Do you wanna taste it first? Sure, I'm gonna burn my tongue off like I don't think it's, one. <laughs> I don't think it's super hot. <laughs> oh, you don't like it. <laughs> Ugh. No, I don't like that one. Ooh. What in the world? Tastes like mustard. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. I was going to say it tastes like I'm, like I I'm just took a spoonful of like some different kind of yeah, mustard. Yeah, it literally tastes like mustard. What? <laughs> Weird. Because you know it's all that's in here is pumpkin puree, water, honey heavy cream, olive oil, tahini, oh maybe it's the tahini, apple cider, vinegar, cornstarch, garlic puree, sea salt. Weird. Yeah. That is a bizarre flavor. I'm gonna try it one more time. So I clearly am not a fan of it, but did you like it? Cause you don't, you kind of like mustard. But. Yeah, it's really tangy. Um, it tastes kind of like honey mustard actually, now that I taste it again. It makes my tongue salivate instantly. It's very like, <laughs> really tangy so um yeah i don't know it's weird because it really does taste like mustard maybe we should change our shirts to yellow yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways um yeah i don't know about that one but we're gonna go ahead and try the savory corn pie next i can grab it this one and i did cook the whole thing i just cut a little baby sliver for us to try ready all right let's try it dive in you gonna taste the back yeah a little bit of the crunchier side okay. Careful, this might be hot too. Oh, okay. Mmm. This is mm -hmm. delicious. Oh my yeah. gosh. I this agree. is so good. It is very good. Mmm. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so yummy. I know. Okay, so first of all, it has a really great corn flavor. If you guys like corn, you'll probably love this. It tastes like there's cheese. Oh yeah, there is. There's cheddar in there. You can definitely get bites of like 
cheesy goodness. And then what else is in there? Anaheim, Anaheim chilies. chilies. I don't really taste the chilies, but I think it's it enhances the flavor of everything. Honestly, this is so good. I'm gonna run out and buy like two more to have a back stock because I don't know how long this is gonna be, but this would probably be delicious at Thanksgiving if you wanted to have like a Thanksgiving oh, sure. side. Um, or just like I could eat this as a meal, not the whole thing obviously, but for sure eat it as a meal. Yeah, to me, if I were to describe this in two words, I'd say corn quiche. That's, well, that's kind a good of one. that's kind of what it tastes like. It, it kind of even looks like it has like corn in there or like a, like egg in there, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no egg as far as I know. Oh, it's probably a binding agent actually. There probably Perhaps. is egg. Let me see. But it's it's really yeah, good. Yeah, there is egg in it. Yeah, there. that makes sense. It yeah. it seems to me like a corn quiche. Uh, the corn is the prominent flavor within this, and it's really good. It's amazing. Yeah. So yummy. Ooh, my gosh. Okay, let's wash it down with some pumpkin spice liqueur. <laughs> um, I don't know how this is gonna be, but this, actually, I should probably shake it. Is this intended to be drank straight or? Let's see. Fall in love with the sweet and spicy flavor of our signature pumpkin spice cream liqueur brimming with notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Enjoy its velvety finish on the rocks or with a warming cup of coffee. Oh, right. dang. Let's I don't think do I could be doing that because I am a mom of a three-year-old, so almost three. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Let's not rush his age. Um, but it smells kind of like Bailey's, to be honest. And it looks kind of like Bailey's. A little lighter in color. And this guy is, let's see, 25 proof, so it's 12.5% alcohol. For those of you wondering what the alcohol content is. It smells delicious. But it does smell really good. I like for the ice to melt just a tad before I take a sip. Wow, that's really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This yeah. is too easy to yeah. drink. Way too easy. If you put that in your pumpkin spice latte, you wouldn't even know it was there. You wouldn't. Easy, not easy. You know, pumpkin easy spice latte, you could just fill up your whole Starbucks cup with this and no one would even know. <laughs> just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> but for real, this is delicious. Yeah, it doesn't even taste like alcohol, no, honestly. No, there's no bite at all. I'm, I'm surprised so it's 25 good. proof. I'm surprised it's already 25 mm. proof because it, it has no alcohol flavor, at yeah. least to me. Maybe the ice watered it down a little bit, but what I just tasted was delicious. I know it will be drinking on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, we're those parents that take our kids trick-or-treating with like a glass in our hand. I but, think last year was wine, but... But our glass is in the shape of a skull, so it's it okay. Is. Yeah, it's a Halloween skull. And we're walking, not driving, so... It's just our little Halloween-like <laughs> tradition. <laughs> um, okay, next is the apple cider cookies. Now, my coworkers have been going bananas over these. They put them out in the break room, and I'm not kidding you, like, they were gone in, like, three seconds. <laughs> not three seconds, but you know. So, this says it's crunchy, crisp, apple cider-flavored cookies with fall spices. Are you ready? Yeah. Mmm, they smell good. They do. It tastes like a butter cookie to me. Like it's really buttery. It's really crunchy. I don't taste too much apple, but it's definitely there. Um, but yeah, definitely like a buttery cookie, which is good. So I like it. I probably won't eat like a bunch of these, but they're good. Yeah, I agree that they are, they're very light in the apple flavor. That's not strong. Um, they're sweet but not overpowering. Uh, I feel like they'd be really good paired with something with like a tea or maybe coffee. Um, mm. I would, I, I enjoy them, they're good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat a ton of them, just they don't, they don't have that, that hook that really gets you. Yeah. That you're like, I can't put these down. Uh, that, that's not how it's, uh, how it's treating me. I guess we're your coworkers. Maybe you guys all are, are different, but I'm not I think not, when it's I'm free, it's always good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say that though, it, it, they're not overly sweet. So if you guys aren't like a sweet cookie eater, these are definitely on the like lighter side of sweetness and more of like that buttery flavor. So just be aware of that. All right, and then the last thing that we are going to try is the new maple streusel bread. I did have this in the oven for a couple minutes just to warm it up a little bit. Um, yeah. This looks so good. I know it does and it smells amazing. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good. I thought it was gonna be sweeter than it than it really is though. Um, I got a big bite of the like sugar, mm -hmm. I guess it's maple uh, on the top. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's really good. I think it, it isn't isn't overpowering in the sugar department, and uh, it tastes good. But is I was expecting it to be sweeter. Yeah, it's definitely not too sweet, but I I really like that personally. Um, it reminds me a lot of the pancake bread that Trader Joe's has. It has that same flavor, which makes sense because I think that's a maple flavored as well. It has that same like kind of dense texture. Um, so it does remind me a lot of that. It's delicious. I love it. And I like that the bread is like dense and, and like chewy and oh, it's so good. I love this personally. I like that it's not too sweet. Um, a plus in my book. <laughs> Good, good. Yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up. I'm just gonna top Tim off though before we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Just so we can cheers, you know. Cheers to another great taste test. <laughs> um, and I have to finish mine still. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in our next video, or my next video. Tim might make an appearance. <laughs> cheers. Bye guys. <laughs>